Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW Farhana Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Dibanshu Mukherjee, and today we are going to discuss navigational attributes in BW Farhana. The way navigation attributes are activated and accessed have been changed significantly from the prior BW versions to BW Farhana. So we should know as a BW Farhana consultants how to activate and where to access these navigation attributes. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. All right. So let's now look at where in BW Farhana we can access and activate the navigation attributes. So we have to remember that there are two places where you can access and activate these navigational attributes. So navigation attributes the way they have been been used in the previous BW versions and the way they are used in PW for HANA has changed a bit. The first thing you have to remember is it is no more possible to activate the navigation attribute at an ADSO level in BW for HANA. So the question is then where can we access? All right. So the first place where we can access the navigation attribute from an ADSO is the composite provider. So within the composite provider, the, again, there are two places. The first place is when you define your input sources in your scenario. And the second place is your output tab where you can also activate your navigational attributes. So the first place is your composite provider. And within composite provider, there are two places. First is scenario. The second is the output. We will look at that in a bit in a system. And the second place where you can activate the navigation attributes are your transformations. So when you do the transformation mapping in your source ADSO, if you have activated the property that please use the navigation attributes in extraction, if you have activated that property for an info object in your source ADSO, then you can use the navigation attributes for that info object in the transformation from the source to the target. So two places, first is at the composite provider and second is in the transformation. So let's quickly jump into the system and look at this. So I have a system here, which is BW for HANA 2.0 SP04. That is my version, which I'm using. And I already have a data flow created. As you can see, it starts from the ODP CDS view based uh, source system. I have a CDS view based data source. I have the first level staging ADSO. I have the info source in between. I have the integrated data warehousing layer, uh, standard ADSO, and then I have the data mart uh, ADSO, which is the top layer. And on top of the data mart ADSO, I have my composite provider. So the first place, as I told you, is the composite provider. So let's quickly go into the composite provider. So you can double click on your composite provider in the data flow, which will take you to the modeling editor of the composite provider there we go so as you can see we have three schemes uh, general scenario and output three tabs rather so in the scenario this is the first place within the composite provider where you can access your navigation attributes so here i just have one source which is my data mart adso now here i have my characteristics here and one of the characteristics is zero material so the way you can access the navigation attribute is you right click here and you can say show unassigned navigational attributes. So the moment you check show unassigned navigation attributes, there will be uh, an expanded view which will be available wherever the navigation attributes are available. So for the zero material, I have my navigation attributes. What I can do is I can uh, access now all the navigation attributes here. And what I will do is I will choose the product hierarchy okay and I will say create assignment so product hierarchy will be assigned to my output so that is the first place within the composite provider where you can access and you can map your navigation attribute the second place is your output tab so within your output tab now you can see that the zero material does not show the navigation attribute right so product hierarchy is now added because we have added that in the scenario, but there is another navigation attribute vendor, which is connected to zero material, which I also want to access. 
So the second place is the output tab and the way you access is right click on this info object and you can say navigation attributes. When you click on navigation attributes, it will give you the list of all the attributes and there if I have to choose the vendor, zero vendor, there it is. I'll just check this box and I'll say OK. And there you will see in the expansion, I will see the zero vendor. Now, Control F3 in the Eclipse editor, I'll just activate this composite provider and voila, my navigation attributes, product hierarchy and the vendor is now available to me in the composite provider. One thing to note here is that when you do the data preview from this composite provider, so I'll choose the reporting preview, you will see in the free characteristics let's quickly see that okay so in my data uh, preview here you will see that i will have the vendor here and i will have the product hierarchy here so now both are available in my composite provider preview and now you can access them easily even in the query which you will create on top of the composite provider these navigation attributes will be available to you so this is the first place where you can access and activate your navigation attribute the second place as i discussed let's go back to our data flow is the transformation so i have uh, a standard adso and i have a data mart adso so i want to activate the navigation attributes in the transformation from the standard ADSO to my data mart ADSO. So I have to go to the source ADSO. So let's quickly jump into the modeling editor of the source ADSO. Just double click on the data flow. It will take you to the modeling editor of the ADSO. Before that, let's quickly look at the transformation which is from the ADSO, which is the standard ADSO to our data mart ADSO. In this transformation, I want to see whether I have the navigation attributes of zero material already activated or not it seems it is not so if you double click on zero material to go inside the info object maintenance screen there you can see we have a whole bunch of navigation attributes for zero material so if you go to the attributes tab you can see that all these are navigation attributes but in the transformation i am not seeing all the navigation attributes here so how do I activate the navigation attributes for the material for me to use in the transformation? So for that, you have to go to the source of the transformation, which is my standard ADSO. So there it is. I am inside my standard ADSO. Now when you go to the details tab, you will see zero material. Click on zero material. On the right side, there are some properties and there is a property called use navigation attribute in extraction. This is the one which enables the navigation attributes in the transformation. Now it's checked. Let's activate our ADSO. So we'll quickly uh, do the activation in the Eclipse editor. Control F3, that's the shortcut to do the activation. So it is now activating my ADSO. And we will quickly see if there are any problems or whether it activated it successfully. So we'll go to the problems view. So it is consistent and it is activated. So now let me close my transformation, close this, close the ADSO and quickly refresh my data flow. So that will show me whether any transformation, any DTP got deactivated or not because I changed some property in my source ADSO. So it seems it is not. So let's now go to the transformation which is connecting my standard ADSO to my data mart ADSO and now I should be able to see the navigation attributes of zero material. So let's see. So if you scroll down, there you go. So now you have all the navigation attributes activated and say for example, if I want the industry, I can quickly map the industry to the target. Of course, your target should have uh, the info object industry added as a part of one of the groups and then you can map the navigation attribute of zero material uh, industry to the target industry info object. So there you go guys. So there are three ways you can access and activate navigation attributes. Let's quickly summarize. There are the first place where you do it is in composite provider. There either you can do it in the scenario tab or in the output tab. 
and the second place is in the transformation if you want to do that then you have to first activate the property in the ADSO which is the source ADSO of the transformation and then it will be available for your transformation. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope this helped you and this will enable you to use the navigation attributes more effectively. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.